Tattoos. It's time for Ed's Night Party. Tonight, two guests for the price of one. Lexa Rosianne, the supermarket sorceress. Plus, from Love Boat, it's Isaac Washington, the bartender, actor Ted Lenz. Plus, the Zubar dancers, Connie and Andrea. And now, here's your host, the master of ceremonies himself, Humble Hour. Thank you. Thank you. How are you doing, man? Oh, you got a book already. That's good. Well, welcome. All right. Jeez, Louise. Welcome to Ed's Night Party, not only a great television program, but a program that can actually give you a reason to live. Kill me now! <laughs> Kill me now! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have a fine program, as good a program as you could even want. From the love boat, Ted Lang will be here, ladies and gentlemen. As well... As well, a... A real live witch, huh? You know, it is a... Yeah, ooh, a witch. <laughs> Man, it's a... It's a... It's hot in here. Have you noticed it? Oh, my God, it's... It's Satan! <laughs> it's... It's Satan. <laughs> this is good. <laughs> oh, man. Well, hey, Satan, how are you? I'm half as horny. Yeah. <laughs> what here? Here. I'm half as horny. Hey, why don't you put that? Well, you do it, Dad. Yeah, there yeah, you I'll go. Put it here. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Have a, don't, don't. So, Satan, uh, what are you? Uh, what are you up to there? Well, I just came back from hell. I want to give the weather forecast for the next three days. Yeah. Hot, hot, and hot. Ha ha ha. <laughs> oh man. You're burning up! I, yeah, I'm burning. I just came, actually, I, came, I didn't get from hell. I came from the zoo bar. Yeah. The zoo bar? Ever been to the zoo bar? Yeah, no. Where are you guys from? Uh, Wisconsin? Okay. <laughs> well, Satan, uh, do you have a little message? Is there some rehearsed piece you want to give us, or should yeah, we just rehearsed, go on? We didn't rehearse. This is all, I bought this at the Zellers today. They had a sale on I got 4,000 points with it. Okay. $3.50. Well, listen, Satan, uh, if you can't get to the uh, it was actual a, it was meat a hot, of this it was, bit. It, it was a hot devil Give deal. Give me this! It was a hot devil deal. All right, get the hell out of here. Anyways, out of the, here. the music industry. It's oh, really, the music industry. That's yeah, it's bit. really getting to me. I used to be able to, I used to be able to put a message on a record. You could play yeah. it backwards and hear it. How the hell can you do it on a CD now? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, Satan. There you go. Bye. Satan. <laughs> That's Satan. He, uh... Satan. Satan will be in hell all week. Enjoy the veal. Don't forget to have some veal. Whatever. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we do have a fine program. Uh, I know it doesn't seem like it now, but it really is going to get so much better, don't you think? Yeah. And now, without further ado and delay, please welcome the star of Ed's Night Party, Ed the Sock, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Don't, huh? don't make me do that again. <laughs> Please. I love that Satan. Come on, we're friends. Don't put me through <laughs> oh, man. that again. Gotta Satan. love that. By the way, I noticed those two people are just cheering in the audience. Can we get the shot of those two last guys? Which two? Uh, ladies and gentlemen, They're... Beavis and Butthead! <laughs> what do you say? Who, who is that? Beavis and Butthead. Beavis and Butthead. By the way, you know what I want to take a look at? Can we take a look at Andrea, the Zubar girl? Hi, Andrea. How are you? There yeah, let's you go. take a look. Andrea, now what is that? You got a little chain there around your, your waist? Yeah. What's that all about? It's a belly chain. A belly chain. What is that like? Is that like a safety chain in case the ride gets too hot, you know, bumpy? Yeah. Help you so nobody gets thrown off? Is that what it's for? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. That's like for the rodeo. That's right. There you go. Well, we, uh, we are off to a... I'd like to, to be a, her rodeo clown. We are off to a fine start here. It's Ed's night party, and uh, by the way, Ted Lang there. will be here. What? Hmm? Yeah, Ted Lang will be here from the yeah. Love Boat. Yeah. By the way, um, the other day I'm watching... Uh, I'm alternating on my TV between a hockey game 
and a porno movie. Mm. And I'm thinking, wouldn't it be funny if some of these porno guys were actually hockey players? Can you imagine the play-by-play? -play? Something like this. And bend over, passes over to Mike Hunt, and it's a pass to Long Dog Silver. Oh, intercepted by Johnny T-Bone. Oh, and he takes it up to Phil McCracken. Oh, <laughs> stolen by Dick Gozinha. <laughs> skating up the ice, skating up the ice, and it's a pass to Hugh G. Rection. He shoots. Oh, what a mess. Let's see that again. And again. So, so I, I'm guessing that, uh, that Dick goes in you. He's a French player. Goes in you. It was a short bit. You had to step on it with no, that. No, 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 no. Just, uh, just. It was it. nice. It was a nice, succinct piece right. of comedy. All right. Don't get, don't get mad at me. I'm not getting mad at you. By the way, you're dressed well again tonight. Thank you very much. Uh, you're looking pretty good too. I see you everywhere now. You're becoming uh, bigger than life. You're a multimedia uh, maven. Let's have a, have a look at this. This is from, uh, this is from a uh, Toronto Sun, TV Times. Look at that. Very nice, huh? Yeah. Have a shot. And, uh, and there is the uh, single worst picture of me ever taken inside with you. This is horrible. Yeah. Uh, all well, right. Howard, you should explain the, the story behind that. You had malaria that day. Yeah. And here it is. This is it. Canada's national TV guide on the front. Uh, someone that our prime minister has never heard of. And um, inside, there he is, ladies and gentlemen. Woo! Huh? Come on. You know what? It's very, very proud of you. I got to tell you, very proud. Well, it's nice that, uh, very nice that to see. the TV guides have finally discovered us. You know, we've only been on the air for two years. Has, has it been two years? <laughs> we've only been getting bigger <laughs> ratings than the friggin' beachcombers or whatever. Yeah. You know, it's nice that they, you know, finally discovered our little show after being around in 24 yeah. months. Yeah, they're just catching right on, aren't you know, they? You know, the media, they're on the cutting edge. This is great. We could have used this date when we launched the show. Yeah, you could. You think so? Two years ago, you know, there's another. There's another little story in there about uh, a little show called Mama's Family. It's been off the air three years. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, there's there's some lovely recipes. Uh, you know, when you when you think about uh, eating, you think about getting TV guides. That's right. Because you want to find out what the uh, what uh, <laughs> Ted Koppel. His, his shrimp creole recipe. <laughs> well, you know, speaking of eating now, I thought I'd seen everything. You know, television guides, that makes sense. But I'm looking on a, I'm looking on a billboard. Ladies and gentlemen, check this out. <laughs> this isn't, and this is real. I'm warning you. Have a look. There it is. See that? Yeah. Yeah, no, pretty much nothing says, uh, nothing says wholesome breakfast food like Ed the Sock. You don't know what kind of prize there is at the bottom either. <laughs> and I, I notice they, uh, where, I notice you don't have, look at this here, look, look, show this again. This is great. No, no cigar. What's that all about? Oh, I was on the patch that day. Come on. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. If you know what it says to me, uh, you're a serial whore. You'll do anything for money. What, what is your new? <laughs> <laughs> You've been watching this show? Yeah, where's I'm thinking, where's your integrity? Then I realize, hey, they must have paid him a whack of money. Do you have any Frosted Cheerios to... Yeah, we'll care? give some out during the break. Because, oh, you know, one. I would never endorse a product that I don't believe in. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's... Oh, uh, oh it's, I almost uh, busted a... I think I wet myself. <laughs> oh, I thought that was me. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a great program. Uh, a witch and uh, Ted Lang from the Love Boat. Are we doing the witch right now? Yeah, let's bring out the witch now. Oh, come on. What? Oh, well, okay, absolutely. She is a, uh, an author, she's a sorcerer, she's a good witch, and she heads a Wiccan coven from New York City. Please welcome Alexia Rosianne, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Ma'am, man, you smell good. Like man, just hey, she's the best smelling witch ever. How many witches have I, you smelled? Uh, just one, just the one. All so, right, how you doing, witchy poo? I'm, I'm fabulous. How are you, Ed? I'm great. So that's, uh, is that what the witches are wearing nowadays? <laughs> yes. <laughs> you, uh, do you ever ride a broom? I don't know how to ride a broom. How do you hold on? <laughs> 
Maybe I'll show you later. Okay, this we got to get right through this because Lexa is going to um, she is going to uh, whip up some uh, spells for us. Her book is called The Supermarket Sorceress. Uh, here, have a look at this. Can anyone see this? Do you want to have a look here? This is like uh, things you find around the house. Well, it's 75 simple spells and enchantments that you can do using supermarket ingredients. Okay, Ed, what's the deal here? We're going to get Lexa to go over there and whip up some stuff during the program? Yeah, she'll be working with some of our audience members and we'll test them out. Okay, this will be very good. Come on back. Ted Lang will be here. Lexa the Witch. It's Ed's night party, everybody. What else would it be? Zubar dancers. Uh, we're back. Uh, Alexa Roseanne is here. We're going to start with uh, these are all simple things you can find around your house to uh, to cast a spell. This is. Let's, should we start with the one in the middle because it's in the light? Sure. This is a spell to keep a man faithful. Okay. If you uh, you some of you women uh, are you having trouble with uh, men? No. Whatever. Nobody okay. needs a spell for that. So what are the, what are the ingredients? <laughs> uh, orange juice. Actually, if we just jump over here for a second. This is a spell uh, for marriage. Yeah, this, this is also a spell to cast on your pancakes. Wait, I want to see the spell for marriage. Ladies and gentlemen, Ted Lang. Wait, wait, wait a minute. I just want to see the spell for marriage. This is the one I need. Ted, now, Ed's on a coffee break, I understand. You know, Ted oranges are a fruit oh. for oh. love. Oh, you no, think no, I'm screwing no, it no, up? No, no, Whoa. <laughs> no. Whoa! Oranges are a fruit for love and fidelity and also yeah. sexuality. Jupiter nice. gave his bride uh, an orange on their wedding day. So the yeah. orange blossom is considered the bridal flower. Crap! <laughs> is there a little song that goes with like, Alakaboo, Lagamidiboo, Bibbidi, Bobbidi? Do you do any of that? You can do chants. There right. are chants. With this one, you only have to chant, I do, I do, I do, as you're throwing the rice. Basically, you're going to put all these ingredients in, you're going to slice the cantaloupe, put all the ingredients in it, throw in the rice and you'll sprinkle it around your bed, right. chanting yeah. the name of the person that yeah, you, know, oranges, you oranges, want to propose to. Oranges, oranges, who says, there ain't no rhyme for oranges. Okay. I've done that before. I didn't even realize it. Well, we're going to see. see. <laughs> now, the really thing fun. is, the juice of the orange is yeah. different than the fruit of the orange because the juice will tone down sexuality. So you oh, just okay. give this to your husband uh, before he goes to work in the morning, and it'll calm him down. <laughs> Well, and then just for me in the you just take oh, a right. white no candle and carve your initials and his initials in it and take a match, okay, Alexa, just, strike just, it on the heel of your shoe, Alexa, time whisper, out here be true. Just, we're going to come back to you okay. for another one in a minute. Uh, why don't I do this? Why don't you introduce yourself? I'll go see. Okay, you. yeah, let me see. Our guest tonight is a fantastic, incredible guy. I've known him for years. Yeah. We hope you like him. He hasn't been seen on TV in a long time, so we thought we'd bring him in here and show him in uh, Toronto. Please welcome... Ted Lang. Ted Lang. Lang. Yeah, it's Ted uh, Lang. Whoa, yeah. Come on over here. Oh. It's Ted Lang. Ted, get over here. It's the guy from the Love Boat. Yeah. I love that guy. Hey, hey, Ed. How Hello. you doing, buddy? How you doing, Ted? I'm hanging in there, Thanks, man. Thanks, Lexa. Yeah. Lexa's going, I made a mistake. I'm gonna, are you going to use some of that? I'm going to use some of that. Yeah. We won't yeah. use any of that video, but yeah, yeah. we'll use some of that. That'll all be. Yeah, oh, yeah. Have you ever heard me? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. so much yeah. crap in your life, Ted? <laughs> Huh? You ever hear so much crap in your life? Yeah, in Hollywood, all the time. Oh. Love! Yeah. Yeah. Exciting oh, and new! new. Where does that come from? Come aboard! We're, We're expecting you! Wow, I can't believe it! The love hey. boat! Very good! I've never seen a guy singing with a cigar in his mouth before. That's he can do it good. all. He can do it all. He can do it all. <laughs> Oh, That's man. why he's got his own show. Your uh, your background's actually in theater. Yes. Which I, I uh Dinner Theater. No, no, no. Yeah, like, did, no, no, no. I did dinner theater. Yeah, but, but you the same time next year with Jamie Farr? Were you in that one? No, it had to be a girl. <laughs> no, it was sorry. a guy and a girl. Yeah, but he no, drank up. See if you can follow me with this, okay? I'll okay. try and keep up with you, Ted. Okay. Yeah, all right. Let, let, let's I'll tell you what. There's let's, shuffleboard up on the Lido deck, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> let's uh Let's let Ted get started. Like, were you a, a classically trained actor? Like, were you? Like, yes. I noticed you did like some of these, like Othello and, uh, and Othello. Uh, I directed Hamlet, Richard the uh, Third, and a couple episodes of Love Boat. <laughs> That's of, true. Yeah. Well, you're not trying to be versatile, Ed. I mean, but, you, you know, know, if Shakespeare were alive today, he'd be writing the Love Boat. 
Yeah, and commercial. But, but, but that's where the money did that come first? Was was that was that part of your training uh, in the theater before television? Oh yeah, absolutely. I started as Romeo and Juliet when I was 18 years old. Wow. Uh, yeah, doing the balcony scene. Have you ever done any Shakespeare, uh, Ed? No, but I've done some scenes on balconies, pal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, with or without your cigar? Well, that's a secret that only <laughs> photos can tell. <laughs> it depends if it was a Cheerios ad or not. Oh, I that's see. Right. Well, I see you got rid of that cigar pretty fast for the money, buddy. Oh, yeah. Well, I'll do anything for the money yeah, short should... of, uh, well, anything homoerotic. Yeah, well, you should come to Hollywood, because they want guys like you. How I'm telling you... you to work all the time. Where would I be working? Huh? 7-Eleven? All right. Uh, <laughs> now you two, come on. Okay. How did you, uh, how did you uh, go from that type of theater? How did you get involved with the Love Boat? Were you working in television by that time? Or? Well, yeah, I was, but I was always doing theater on the side. So mm -hmm. what I did is I started out doing um, Shakespearean stuff at a theater called the Inner City Cultural Center in Los Angeles, mm -hmm. was, which was a multiracial, multicultural theater. And so we would do different kind of productions there. And when I wasn't doing that, I would do television. So the, the television paid for me to do theater because theater, you don't really make any money. And you did that show for... Television, you don't really make any money either, pal, believe me. Yeah. Oh. Not, not this uh, type uh, of TV. Oh, You're you, kind, you do. This is Canadian TV. It's a uh, big difference. This is Come to Hollywood, Ed. I'm yeah. telling you, man, you'd, you'd make a fortune. Uh, you yeah, they show. don't appreciate me here. No, they you did that show for nine years? No, ten. Ten? Yeah, ten years. Come That's on. a lot of visits by Tom Bosley. <laughs> and Charo. And Charo. Yeah, Charo. Yeah, Charo held the record as for being on the show the most times. Now, with, with that kind of show, I mean, your part would be smaller or larger depending on the week. Who the, the guest was. And right. the guest. Cut stuff. him out. We don't want to be. Yeah, nice okay, thing. Ted, thanks very much. Yeah, yeah, you know. We appreciate it. Yeah, I don't need a drink. Uh, but, uh, Isaac, get back, get back. Were you, were you ready for it to be over after 10 years of doing it? I think, yeah, we all wanted, we yeah, yeah, we all wanted, though, to try something else and to move on. And uh, I, I uh, thought it was going to be in television, <laughs> but it actually turned out to be in theater. So I've been doing a lot of. Uh, you're you're, you're, you're being facetious. I mean, you 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 haven't been working that much in TV. Since? No, mostly mostly theater, mostly theater. Didn't you do that small the the uh, TV version of Shaft? Weren't you in that? The TV version of Shaft. Wasn't that you? No, that was a bigger guy, Richard Roundtree. That wasn't. No, me. no, this was a little. This was the sitcom version of Shaft. The sitcom no. version of Shaft. Didn't last very long. It was, no. that wasn't him. No, that wasn't me. But you, right. was Eliza uh, Hayes singing in the opening? Yeah, actually, it was me. Can you do that? The no, I Shaft? can't do it. You yes, can't. Come on. Yes, you can. Come on, Ed. <laughs> I don't know the lyrics to Shaft. Get off you my ass. You don't know the lyrics to Shaft? Oh, so oh. sing them for me, Mr. Expert. Uh, okay. Who's, that, uh, guy? who's the black private dick? Who's the sex machine for all the chicks? Shaft. Shaft. Oh, hey, the audience! And the audience knows I get it. The hey, part. Jeff, some folks say that Shaft, he's a bad mother. mother shut shut your, your mouth. mouth. Yeah. Right on. Hey, right on. Uh, if you are an actor, an author, a director, and I want to get this because I thought this was pretty cool. You recently won the Renaissance Man Theater Award from the NAACP in Los Angeles. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What, what is... What, what is that uh, award for? And uh... Well, what happened is I made a contribution to L.A. theater. When, during the time that I was uh, working on The Love Boat, I would do things for minority actors, particularly because sometimes it's a little harder for them to get started. So I started a thing called the Ira Aldridge Awards, which would spotlight actors. that, it, Like if you just came to L.A., you didn't know what was going on, you could join the Ira Aldridge Awards, show your craft as an actor, and be seen by Hollywood as far as agents and producers and directors and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And I directed plays in the community, in, in the black community. You know what? We, uh, I gotta ask a question. Yeah, yeah go ahead, Ed. Did you ever catch Julie Snorton Coke off the Lido deck? All right. <laughs> oh, you know what? Oh, boy, um, he's rough, ain't he? I gotta know. Hey, well, no, well, listen, why don't you ask Julie to come on the show and you can ask her yourself. We, what we, is she we, doing? Doesn't she do tricks for a buck? All right. Oh, 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 you're talking oh, about my friend, man. Yeah, she um, was cool. It was more than a buck. Here we go. <laughs> Ted, what, what? We, uh, we're completely out of time. I just oh, want to say, okay. you know, we, we all watched it for those years. And uh, we and you did a great job, and, and uh, we sure appreciate you coming up hey, here and doing my our show. To meet Ted Lang, ladies and gentlemen, yeah. very very nice, sir. Thank you, I appreciate it. We'll be right back. Come on, we got more witch stuff.
with the supermarket sorceress, uh, Alexa, Roseanne. Uh, you know, uh, Ted's going to hang with us here for a minute. W it's like this a Mike Douglas show all of a sudden, you know? <laughs> yeah, I was going to do a little poem to close. Well, you know, he lasted years, so, you know. That's right. Like 15 and, years. And I, I, have a, right away. I have a spell yeah. for you to quit smoking, so you might last longer, too. Okay. Yeah, Ooh. thanks very much. But you know what, Alexa? Yes. You want to try me out later? I last about as long as you need. <laughs> we'll see about that. Well, if not, there's, there's a spell in the book for that, too. Um, Can we get to that one? Oh, this is to remove unwanted guests, which you might find uh, well, useful. Not in this case, with Mr. Lamb. No, no, the guy. Yeah, we're going to go a little on right. over here but and see what happens. More maybe for, for your house. You need yeah. red pepper. You need uh, stain remover. You need vinegar right. and detergent. How about, just, you, how about just letting out a big fart? <laughs> So, like, what, someone you don't like comes over, you, you spray this in their eyes? No, 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 no. You wash their clothes with these ingredients. Oh, I see. This is an old southern recipe. Wait a with second, you invite somebody over. It, it drives people They're away. hanging around a little bit too long. You ask them for their clothes to wash? <laughs> How do you do that subtly? That yeah, you're really starting to get on my nerves. And your clothes are dirty. <laughs> No, these are for the types of people that give you your lawn, their laundry. How did you, you're, now you're a witch, uh, and I think we'd all like to know this, how did you figure this stuff, I mean, how would you say, gee, I'll use some uh, vinegar, pepper, and... Uh, well, every single item has a spiritual or magical property, and it's just a matter... Shout? Yes, including <laughs> shout. You're going to shout out their name and ask and you, them you to leave. You know that, very spiritual. Yes, but, well, but, I've been yeah. known to shout myself on occasion, late at night. Oh, yeah. Hopefully you're not yeah. alone. Now Ted's getting yeah. the spirit of the show. Yes, Alexa, uh, we, we want to we want to thank you for being on the show and Ted and uh, we you hope know you guys had a good time. And I we got another get question. Here. When you were experimenting with this stuff, did you ever like you know throw in instead of red pepper it was green pepper and you turned someone into like a frog? Did that ever happen? Uh, not specifically, but you know, for instance, instead of eye of newt, you can use fig newtons. So there are ways to get uh, around. You're full of crap. Anyway. <laughs> Hey, 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 don't, don't touch him. Don't touch the sock, ladies and gentlemen. We hope you had a good time, and uh, we'll see you again. What are you going to do? Like I always say, everybody's good today. Stay it off and good night. Coming up next, Carl Weathers and Prince's former protege, Ben.